heard of the CAST system before? Couple hands up. We have done ancient Mesopotamia and we've done Egypt social hierarchy. On your notes, you see a pyramid? Okay, we're gonna talk about the similarities of it. And did you guys notice the signs above your desk? Yes. Okay, you guys for this unit have been put in a cast. Just, and we're gonna be playing a game. We're gonna be playing Karma Corner and we're gonna understand what each of your casts mean by the end of the lesson, okay? This is the social structure of India and the caste system. Okay. I like to teach interactively, and for each unit, my room is completely changed. I have bulletin boards that reflect it, and I usually incorporate them into some type of group based on the lessons. So for India, I put them into a caste group, and there were four different tables. The signs are above their desk, so they know who, who they're gonna be, and they'll interact together as a group for that whole unit in that particular setup. We are going to say that the Brahmins, we're gonna write, are the priests. So in your notes, find this part that says priest. We're in the pyramid, they're the highest ranking, okay? We're gonna say that they perform rituals for the gods, and um, only Brahmin men though, unfortunately, ladies, were the ones that were allowed to go to school, okay? So, and you see in your notes, Brahmins are at the top of the pyramid, correct? Direct instruction is really important in social studies. For my subject, this is, for the most part, new material for students. They have never heard of Mesopotamia or, or the caste system, so I have to incorporate direct instruction. All right, where are my sudras? All right, you guys are the laborers, your workers, your servants. You do not own your own business, and you don't get to own your own land. You have to work for, what's that say? Other people. But direct instruction has to be the initial focus for most of the lessons. I'm gonna show you a little clip, and it's gonna be one minute, it's gonna show you each of the casts, and then you're gonna have your first karma corner um, activity. India is a country located on the other side of the world. As a middle school teacher, and I think as an adult, there's really no way you can sit through something for 45 minutes. You know, class after class after class. All right, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to give each group one of these sheets. And you, each of you are going to get your own. You guys are going to have five minutes, and you're going to um, all together, work together, first group done, gets the first karma point, okay? And they're all five of the cast. So you are gonna read through them together and tell me which cast it is and why you guys chose that. Five minutes and uh, be prepared to share. Yeah. The students really need to move and engage in the curriculum in order to learn it. So I try and do um, direct instruction for maybe 15 minutes and then they do something either individually that involves movement or as a group. Today I used a group activity that they could talk and move and, and work together. So I think you have to have a mix of both and I think students are different learners. Sometimes they learn by listening with direct instruction and a lot of them learn actively where they're engaged in it. Um, so you have a little bit of both, you're going to have better um, results with them learning the material. Help them out, help them out, help her out. Your cast works together. I incorporate games into quite a few of my units. When we do ancient Greece, we divide them into city-states and they compete in different areas. We have an Olympic event that they do. All right, so keep working. You still have a minute. Those of you guys that get, didn't get done. They also have uh, group challenges. Who's on task? Who's prepared? Who's completed their homework? Um, did you set a goal for the test? Did everyone make their goal that they set? Okay, we're wrapping it up. Okay, who's doing number one? Okay, so tell us what, tell us what you thought it was and why. We thought okay. it was Brahmins because Brahmins go to And so I think it helps them socially because they're part of the team, they're working for a greater effort. 
We said that it also helps them academically because they don't want to disappoint their team members and they're stepping up um, their personal game so they can um, feel confident in their ability as well as for the team. I think they're really successful. All right, karma points today going to two different groups. This group